What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon Da Vinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew, and you're watching Da Vinci Reacts. Um, I know I was going. I said I know I said I was going to have this video out um, yesterday, I guess technically, but um, yeah. From now on, whenever I say I'm gonna have a video out tomorrow, unless I'm really enthusiastic about it, don't take it serious. I'm gonna try not to do that in the future. But if there's any videos that I've said or promised something, <laughs> as of right now, all promises are void. I have altered the deal. Pray I do not alter it any further. But um, anyway, this is Idiot Abroad Season 2, Episode 8. Carl comes home again. <laughs> I've already done the uh, first one, obviously, from the first season. For those of you worried about the next season, I will react to that. Somebody wanted me to do a reaction to the trailer for the third season. Um, I don't know if I'll do that or not, to tell the truth. But um, I will react to the entire third season. So... Be on the lookout for that. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this, see what it has to offer. Before I get into this, hopefully you haven't skipped by now, because if you have, you're going to look real stupid when you get in the comment section and start complaining. Trust me, I know I've made mistakes too, but try not to do that this time. This video is not a regular reaction. This is a Da Vinci Watch video. Da Vinci Watch videos are different because the video in the corner is not going to be the regular video. Something's going to be altered with it. In this case, it's going to be transparent, and there's going to be no sound. The point of the video is for you to sync up with the original video and watch both videos, this and the original video, simultaneously and have them sync together so I'm reacting to what's happening in another window or on another device or whatever it is. So if you're watching this on a PC, the best way to, or a Mac or whatever, the best way to uh, do this would be to open up the original video in a separate window and have the window playing next to this window where you're watching this video and have them both at, uh, synced up together. If you're watching on a phone or something, the best way to watch both at the same time would be to watch one video on a phone and watch another video on another device, whether it's a smart TV or a tablet or whatever else. If you only have a phone, then you're probably not going to be able to get the full experience of this. I know I'm sorry. I've tried to find other ways to do this. It does not work out <laughs> at all on YouTube. And I don't, I'm not planning on starting a daily motion channel. So, as of right now, this is the steps that we have to take. Now, I'm going to count to three. And then when I say go, we're going to hit the play button at the same time in the original video. And that will be your way of knowing when to, you know, start with me. So, here we go. Three, two, one, go. If the video happens See to the pause. before they melt. Go on an African safari. The video happens to pause at any point. Encounter the world's or largest mammal. Like the ultimate I things to stop do it before you go die. back to a certain time. It will tell you the time that I'm going back to. Right you go back to that time. The world. Then we hit play again. It wasn't what I pictured. Sure, we got the right house. I stuck my hands in rhino shit. Yeah. Had a taste of that. Mm. It's horrible. I was proper struggling. Stereo. I was losing weight and I was starving. That's rank. No. That does stink. Have a whiff of that. I like the hippo in the house. That was the best of everything. Oh, there you good. go. I haven't quite got over it, and my heart's pounding still because it doesn't know what's gone on. <laughs> That's what you're like. <laughs> He's like this. <laughs> You've nearly done me in. It seems like he's a lot more, well, obviously, for obvious reasons, he's more reserved and stuff. Hello, and welcome to I episode eight of the Abroad 2. I will say he seems a lot more content and relaxed I'm Ricky Gervais, in the Ricky Gervais Merchant. show Hello. videos. And the this. star of the show, the little round-headed twonk, that is Carl Pilkington. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> the Carl's been intro. around the world again. Um, thank you for your questions. We're going to get to those. Uh, but first, I want to ask, All right. why did you do it again? You swore you'd never do it again. You swore on camera. The job, innit? Just got to earn a living. I'm in a program called Idiot Abroad. There you go. Job offers aren't, you know, whizzing in. <laughs> there you go, Carl. I'm amazed you did that. That was, that was nuts. No. Uh, no. 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 That is massive. You 
uh, chose the opportunity to be on a desert island, private island. Um, how did you find that experience? But you, you saw it. It wasn't a great experience. It looked beautiful to me. And then you do it, Steve. You get on that island. Freezing. just a bad start. It's like moving on a rainy day, this. I thought it was going to be sand. It's all bloody rock. I travelled right across the other side of the world. It's pissing it down. Mm. It wasn't what I pictured. That's what I'm saying. When you have a dream, your head puts everything as you'd want it to be. Yeah. I'm not sure Ricky would be happy about this, Carl. I don't give a shit. <laughs> no way he'd be putting up with this. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Pop it over, over your head. Keep warm. To be fair, stuck on a little island, dressed in leaves, with it lashing it down, and you having to build a shelter like a chimp in a tree with gaffer tape wasn't my idea of heaven either, <laughs> to be honest. No. Oh, in my head, I was picturing... A bounty advert. A bounty advert. That's what I was picturing. White sand, blue sea, a couple of palm trees. Half a coconut yeah. with a bounty. A bounty in it. <laughs> But well, the point of that See, is, on bounty, the bounty, I was thinking of the seconds. cloth. She's loving that bounty. Mm -hmm. I bet she was pissed off after she'd eaten it. <laughs> and that's, that's the reality of it. Yeah. You don't look at the bigger picture, you go, that looks nice, and then you move on. One I thing I've always wanted to do, and I hope I will get a chance to do it, which you did, the swimming with sharks. I can't wait it to hear amazing. about them talk about the bungee jumping thing. <laughs> that's all right, yeah. Good. OK. <laughs> yeah, you, cheers. You brilliantly brought that to life. <laughs> you can ask me how to paint a picture. It's hard, though. Other cool. people will always have their experience of it, and yeah. it's what they thought of it. This is Mentalist. I can see him. Doesn't look happy. But, t but tell us your experience, how you felt. Right, I felt sick. profile on that shark? <laughs> Might not I'm not be moving mad. on boats. I thought I was going out for a night to see a dolphin. Mm. It turns out it was two nights on a boat to see sharks. Yeah. Well, I'm not great on boats. I was in a room that stunk of prawns. I thought everybody's room smelled <laughs> like that until someone came in and said, Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on in here? <laughs> see, the thing is, people are only thinking these things are good because they've seen it on the telly. Mm. They don't see all the work that goes they into see it, all the, the hassle, hour the work. Yeah. Oh, is this how you imagined it? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. Oh, fucking hell. They sat there, these nature programmes <laughs> that are getting a gorilla, sat in the thing with its family, and they put nice music on it. <laughs> All the sounds and stuff. <laughs> Gorillas traipsing through with the family. Oh, look, it looks amazing. Body popping. It's in bright, sort of bright, you know, HD. Oh, that's amazing. I'd love to be there. <laughs> Like ET. And in reality, my toes were bleeding, I had headache, I was being bit by mosquitoes, and I got there, and the first thing I saw was the mum gorilla sticking its finger up its kid's arse. <laughs> now, you don't see that as, a, as a, something that you go, wow. Yeah, I think they will. I think people will watch this and go, wow. <laughs> this one has been one of the wonderful tracks. Wonderful. Uh. Yeah. I'm trying not to be too loud right now. Okay. Yeah, I may uh, say 10 out of 10. They said part of the gorilla trek was it's all about the hunt and finding it and looking at them. No, it isn't. Bring it to the hut. Bring it to the tent, sit it outside, I'll look at it for a bit, shift it. <laughs> <laughs> That's seeing a gorilla. Carl, we're often accused of bullying you. This is a, a recurring thing, isn't it, that you we do. bully you. But both of us, and, Carl, and Ricky in particular, is always concerned about your well-being. Um, particularly in Alaska, if you recall. <laughs> you are not going to be eaten by a polar bear. But when you had your medical, I found out that you didn't let them test your prostate, did you? No. No. But that's, that's... Why not? In the UK alone, more people die every year from prostate cancer than being savaged by a polar bear. It's a bit of a weird time to bring it up when I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's one of the biggest killers, right? And that's just a simple test. So a doctor pops his finger up your anus and he goes, yep, you're all clear, and that's you relaxed for another year. Uh, I, I don't understand why you're suddenly caring about this now. <laughs> I've got little battery left on this phone. 
I'm wearing the battery out. If something happens, I'm dead. <laughs> He's my best mate. See me. I'm worried about him. Yeah, yeah. No, but why isn't it? I just want to see him get his feet out. Get pressure? probed. Oh, oh, your feet. You, you're in the cold. Are you warm enough? You, no, because it was none of that. It was. Yes, I know. Why don't you get a finger up your ass? Because often there are no <laughs> symptoms. Well, Preferably with cameras. I around. know you don't, but it's good for you. So, um, can we bring the doctor out, please? <laughs> uh, oh, this is a waste of time. Then. This is Frank. Um, <laughs> this is Carl. Frank, how's it going? You all right? Oh, Good to see you. Is the uh, consultant urologist at um, St Bart's? Yeah, St that? Bart's. Yeah. yeah. The thing about uh, prostate cancer is you can be perfectly well and yet still have uh, prostate cancer. And one of the ways that we can detect if that may be a problem is a rectal examination. The thing with um, just uh, feeding... I don't want to finger And of course, Ricky would really get this tall ass of a tumbo right. looking motherfucker who probably has hands I mean, inside of, a lot of Ill people frying pans. That Frank should be looking at. Instead, he's here debating with you two whether you know, he should be finger at me ass. How long will it take if you did it now? If you went... No, wait, how long will it... 15 seconds. 15, 15 seconds. That's a long time. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, what are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> what we're looking for, okay, it's two things we're looking for. One is the size of the prostate gland. Number two, it's the consistency of it. In other words, what it, what it feels like. It's a, it's a quick, simple thing to do. Carl, can I tell you what's going to happen? It's going to be about 10 seconds. He's going to say, you're all clear. You're going to say, what was the fuss about? And you oh, know you oh. haven't got prostate cancer. But not, not today. There's no better time. Cause maybe, it be... maybe it's that you and I and the cameras and that are making it a bit intense. Oh, we've got a private room. Privately to we've got a private room. room. We've got a private room. Don't believe it, Carl. Don't believe it, Carl. It's, it's a trap. Oh, you wait here, then. It's you a trap. Here. I don't yeah, want to stay right here. Frank, do you want to follow Carl? Can you um, show oh, Frank man. and Carl to a private room? Thanks. Oh, man. The fact that y'all told me about you this and well said I need to see it. While there. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that y'all told me about this and told me I need to see it shows that there's some stuff what's going on that we the... see. What's real, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know we got a media room. room. <laughs> the way they go about it. Mm. I've been travelling around the world in oh, dangerous places. They've oh never cared about God. me before. Mm. Yet today, they keep going on about having this <laughs> Men are embarrassed about these things. Like you know, editor's table and stuff. But for the sake of something that's really is very quick and, and painless, oh, we're man. talking about potentially saving a life. And before you know it, it's done and it's over. I know, but it's just that. Yeah. <laughs> it's day in, day out. That's what you do. Seriously, it's like those every prank day. videos. Yeah. Like, Carl, how come you can't see the camera? And are you going to move up and do, get to do something better, or is this your future now? Just sticking your fingers up It's just part of the job. Yeah. A lot of time I spend in, in operating. Oh, man. Hopefully, I, I won't have to edit anything. So, how many people are you doing a day? 10 to 20, maybe. And which finger is it? Is it a big one or a little one? It's the index finger. Why is that? Why not just a little? Because the, the prostate lies a little bit, a little bit in. Get your, get your hand. You couldn't. You, you just couldn't do that with your little finger. So you're going round the corner. You've got to go in and round. <laughs> yeah. so you've got to go in and then slight, slight, slight twist. It's it's the thought is worse than the actual delivery. Let, let's put it that way. It's the thought of it. All right. And okay. I, I, let's, yeah, let's do it then. If you're over the age of forty, do you wear get a prostate exam yes. one, at least once do a year. Do you know Richard Blackwood? Yes, the uh, comedian. Yes. Yeah, he had he had a. Uh, Colonic on telly, never yet, seen so again. So I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that's far worse. So, look, rest your, rest your hood pillow. Then, what you need to do is you need to bend your knees up. Yeah. You need to pop that <gasps> arm over there. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. what I need to do, I'm just going to get some lubricating gel. I'll just. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is, if I may, I'm just going to pop, yeah. pop, pop your cars down. Bend your knees up a bit more. Come towards me a bit more. So, you're at the edge of Gantra Marvelous, okay? Take a deep breath. Deep breath. And out, okay. And relax, breathe normally. I'm just gonna pop a finger in there, okay. Deep breath, well done. Jesus, well done. that's high up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. It's not surely enough, isn't it? It's like you're touching a lung. <laughs> Your faucet's fine. Your <laughs> cross been violated. Carl's never going to be the same oh, again. Oh, God. Well done. <laughs> Brilliant. I don't think it's the sort of thing people pay us. Guy a subscription for, to be honest. <laughs> In HD. <laughs> Cheers for that, then, Frank. Now, you're a doctor, aren't you? <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> you represent oh, the men who will never have it done, <laughs> some of which will die of prostate cancer. Genuinely. I haven't quite got over it, and my heart's pounding still, because it doesn't know what's gone on. My body's gone, what just happened then? No one's ever been that high up. <laughs> You're sorry, human girl. magnet. And they're magnet. Ma magnet. Ma magnet. <laughs> so tacky. Look, they're not even, they're not special or anything. What is going on? I've never heard of such a thing. I'm sure Carl Handy when out shopping. When, when you go food shopping. Carrier bags these days are really weak. But very thin. He comes out of Waitrose. Done. I can't think of anything where you go, brilliant. I'm a magnet. When do you need to be a magnet? Well, what superpower would you like, then? I came up with one. I'd be bullshit, man. There's so many meetings going on where you know people are bullshitting. I just like to walk in. I wouldn't need a special costume. Just dress like this. And I'd fly in. I'd go bullshit. <laughs> You're talking bullshit. And they'd go, oh, it's bullshit, man. And I'd go, well, yeah, I, it is bullshit, man. You're talking bullshit. And eventually, people would stop talking shit. Th that could take off. I quite like. I mean, I know you said you didn't want a costume, but if I could get a little costume oh, for you, man. what colour would it be? I don't need a costume. No, but you don't need it, but if I got one for you, what would it no, have? No, I don't need all that, because that's just wasting time. That's all bullshit. How do we know you're bullshit? How do we know you're bullshit, man? Because I flew in. Well, well, you, you so you can fly. fly. So your superpower is saying bullshit, but you can <laughs> also fly. Yeah, but, but also, people know if I've said it's bullshit, they know they were talking bullshit. Yeah, yeah, but but wait. That's my superpower. Wait, no, 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 no. No, your superpower is surely flying as well. You didn't. Yeah. You didn't. We could all say bullshit. No, no. Yeah. The flying is necessary because of the amount of bullshit that's going but on. But if you could <laughs> fly, <laughs> but if I can't fly, how am I going to get a rat? There's loads of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Keep jumping in a cab? <laughs> wait. You're going to be busy all day. No, I haven't invented this. It's not my fault. You can or can't fly. No. Calm down. I know, but I'm saying if it was my superpower, <laughs> I'd want to fly in. Yes, my point. And I don't want a costume because I'd be constantly. <laughs> wearing that costume because no. of the amount of bullshit that's been said. Yes, I understand that. So you, oh, so your man. point is this. Everyone can tell bullshit, but you need to fly to get there quick and get it out Just in the open. Can it quick? Yeah. If someone starts spouting How the bullshit. How can you hear them? So you can be super hearing as well. Yeah. So you can, hold on, so wait a minute, right. Can you see, can you see where they are? Or can you just... I'm just hearing it. So if there was a meeting, right, going on in Leeds now, and there was a bloke going, well, if you invest in this company, if you give me one million, I can guarantee you, you will make an extra million. <laughs> but by the end, I will double... I will... <laughs> double, I will double your investment in one... <laughs> what? Bullshit! <laughs> That's how it would work. <laughs> you can see how... Uh, I know, because, honestly, that's years and years of people <laughs> spouting it. Yeah. Meetings, ever since being neck-eye. Oh, man. It's like... That's that's all you ever hear. Okay, but how would you programs in X Factor? Yeah, that's Honestly, that's X Factor funny. will keep you busy. Okay, it's yeah. Just the amount of shite <laughs> yeah. that is being told to people in that, and uh, all that wow. crying. That'd be the next one. I don't know what I'd call it. That thing when girls do that now. I don't know where that's come from. When they're getting a tear coming on, they go like that. I want to fly. In. Fucking stop doing that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, no, it's it, not, not, I'd say, but smell. It's a good smell. That's rank. He wouldn't eat no. it, though. It is. No. I found that I've enjoyed food more okay, since I'm trying I got to back smile. from Japan. Because you appreciate... <laughs> Just nice food. Yeah, but that's only because you're only saying it's not nice because it's different. That, I mean... No, it wasn't nice in Japan. I was proper struggling. I was losing weight and I was getting moany because I was starving. And there was nothing. I was going around saying, have you just got any toast? And they look at you like, no. Oh. And they give you like a squid bollock. There's <laughs> 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 just nothing. That's for breakfast. The weird thing yeah. about Japan yeah. for me it's is It's not like... like they save the weird shit for, for tea. That's breakfast. They start you off with weird stuff. And the hard stuff. And do you know what? Ooh. I didn't tell them, the people who were away with me. Oh, I'm sure but I was struggling that much. On two mornings to try and get through it, I was eating strepsils. Because I was found the... that my taste buds went numb and they didn't have a clue what was going on. And I just was shoving stuff in.
The thing about Japan is, like, I'm a big bit. all Asian countries have, like, I'm different cultures and stuff like that. But, I'm a big bit. for some reason, you Japan is, like, me now. there's regular food from other parts of Asia. And Japan is just, I know it's an island, it's just, like, mostly seafood, but it's like, wow. They mix some weird stuff together sometimes. It's like, pretty good now, I just shoving anything in Chicken and rice, that's all I need. not that fussy. I stuck my hands in rhino Most shit. Asian countries, yeah. I chicken and rice, marinated chicken. This isn't chicken. me being a bit, ooh, mm. it's fucking horrible. Apparently that's that's like the, the start of sushi. That's where it all began with that. How did it carry on? Why didn't someone say, what is this shit? Pack that in, stop serving that, and that should have been the end of sushi. Mm. 170 quid. OK, <laughs> what do you recommend? What, what should they just, get over there? Just have a look at any other country's menu. Nip into any restaurant, get a menu, and go. Oh, right, that's what people like eating. Yes, it is not phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> Just something normal. Did you say nut phlegm? <laughs> it's bloody massive. Yeah, she when she cuts out of the water. Oh my god, it's letting its own. Lost my salary. That is mental. That is mad. Where's the food? Your dad didn't let the cat in the lounge. Fucking hippo in here. That was the best of everything. An animal here that normally kills people, right? It's a number one killer, a hippo, right? You have to trek, you have to stay well back, you can't see, you've got to look at hippos through binoculars. Suddenly, there I am in a house where someone's got one as a pet. A hippo in the house. Tea on demand, I'd biscuits when like you want them, hippo in the front room. Pet. That is the ideal. <laughs> <laughs> I always see him in the same surroundings because it's, it's in a lake. Cruel. It's not cruel. In this case, it can it go would have free. Been dead. It would have been dead, it was saved. But could I just say that wild animals should never be kept as pets? You can't suddenly start keeping wild animals in council houses in case you pop round for a biscuit and want to <laughs> see one. I'm just saying that for me, I'll never forget it. It's a surreal moment. You, you've seen hippos out in the wild. It's boring. boring. I've, I've seen you frozen in a natural habitat. Boring. What, what chair are you sitting in? <sighs> How good the carpet? Be, Where's the carpet, you fat git? <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me you'd rather queue up at the zoo to see some animal sat like that on a rock looking fed up than walking into a house not knowing what's in there, going, oh, what's in here? Wandering in, oh, that nice plasma you've got. Oh, nice sofa. There's a gorilla in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, taking an animal like that and seeing it in normal surroundings, it makes it even weirder. It's amazing. Mm. I'll never forget it. I'll forget a lot of the other things. But the hippo in the house was a highlight. Hippo for you. in the house was brilliant. That and the volcano, they're the highlights of the whole yeah. thing. Volcano. <laughs> Why was the volcano so amazing? Just because it's madness, it's dangerous. You stood on the edge of it. It makes you realise that the world is alive. You don't but think what, about that, do you, when you're walking yeah, about? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have one in my front room, though. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd go in and go, oh, nice plasma. Yeah, new carpet. <laughs> oh, <okay, no>. kind <laughs> <laughs> Let's have some marshmallows. <laughs> I'm not walking. I've got one here. <laughs> You've got little ears, long arms, short legs. This is your speech. Isn't that, isn't that a tragedy that some of these species could be gone in a few years? The mountain gorilla that you saw, now... Yeah, there's only 700 and odd of them so left. So precious. So precious. And yet you didn't really want to trek for it. You'd have rather it came round your house. With I wouldn't want them wiped out. We're saying they're the closest thing to human. So what's wrong in having them in your house? That's a very human thing to do. <laughs> Treat them like a human if they're very close to being human. Come on in. Sit down. All right. Of course I don't agree with them dying. There's people who kill them just for their hands so they can have an ashtray mm. of a gorilla hand. How it doesn't even work. Is that? Well, it doesn't work. That no. doesn't even work as an ashtray. <laughs> right. The ash is going to roll through its fingers. <laughs> it's a bit chabby as well as a design. I, my furniture wouldn't work with that. Nothing to do with is it actually <coughs> and all that. It's a horrible thing. You mean if it was a fake one made of... I'm just saying a hand. Forget it's a gorilla. A human hand. If it was a piece of art, a ceramic... It doesn't work. No, it's the cruelty that I find yes, disgusting. Yes, but it doesn't work. Not the design, it's a yeah. beautiful design, a gorilla hand. Work. When it's attached to its fucking arm. But a hand there, look, yeah. it doesn't work properly. It doesn't work.
works. I'm assuming that was the video. How violent and disgusting it is. <coughs> it is. Yeah. But think about Even it. Even my computer doesn't act like that. It is vile and disgusting. It doesn't work as a, as a thing on a table. If you're putting your fag on it, go like that. The ash rolls through the fingers. No, no, it's balancing perfectly. It doesn't it. work. That's the message that should be out there. Don't have a gorilla hand. Not because it's cruel and that, which it is, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Double prong message. If his head was head there, cut its head off, you can put fruit in it. That works. <laughs> That's cruel, but I'm just saying it doesn't work. Wow. One of my favourite things <laughs> about this show isn't just getting you to oh, exotic God. places or out of your comfort zone, it's you interacting with people. I are you okay? Yeah. I love this. Are you gay? No, I've got, I've got a girlfriend <laughs> for 17 years. Fuck, <laughs> fuck, Hey? Fuck, 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 fuck. Safety's on. That's an AK-47. Yeah, I've heard of them. Crisp, biscuit, fruit, wiggly worm. My favourite bit, I just think, when he was you know, cooking for the king, and then he got caught up in the moment, like it suddenly is kitchen, <laughs> when they go, they want another pudding. Who does? All of them. I've only got one dinner custard! <laughs> like, suddenly, oh! But he's the king. Not in my kitchen. <laughs> I'm cut out cooking pills. <sighs> pudding? pudding yeah. Chocolate, uh, sponge, custard. Thank you. Quite warm. <sighs> God, I'm knackered. No wonder Rams is always swearing. <laughs> oh. Yeah? I think they want another round of cake. Who does? All of them. I haven't got enough. I bought one box of custard. <laughs> you took it so seriously. <laughs> because what's the point in doing anything if you don't? Mm. Good point. I mean, there's some great characters in this. One of my favourites is the Russian taxi driver. I'd love to get him over here and you you show him around. No, you wouldn't, though. I was stuck in a car with him in busy traffic in Russia. It was a nightmare. Hope you do not value life too much and got good life insurance. The brakes in this car just failed. It's <laughs> the worst car I ever bought. It's British and I never thought a car could be made that bad. Right. This is the British. I think thing. we found the Russian equivalent of car. It's because we're stuck in a car with this miserable bastard. But he was saying the oh, same man. thing. He <clears> thought <throat> you were a miserable bastard. He didn't like you. Oh, Russia, man. though, is quite. It felt like that. It felt like Body. you're not meant to be happy. Maybe he's your bog standard Russian. Everything's quite hard. Signs, the text on buildings. I've never been a lover of font. I think there's too many fonts. Right. But after being over there, they've got like one and it's in capital. He's yelling at you. <laughs> Even if it's something nice. Kittens for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Now, despite the fact you didn't really get on with Russia, the Trans-Siberian Express journey actually threw up some of your favourite things. You ended up um, at the Dwarf Village. Great. I thought it was really good. I mean, how can you fault that? It was just slick. You know, you had like a little Rich and Judy come out at the beginning. They sort of introduced everyone. Different singers. It was, it was like our life, but miniature. It's like a little Britain's Got Talent. There was a little Peter Andre who came out, did a little sing song. Little woman with glasses on, Lily Allen. It, it was just really familiar. Enjoyed it. And people at home, you'll probably get some going, it's not right. Shouldn't be looking at dwarfs singing and dancing on stage. But we do it with X Factor. The early stages of that are a load of divs. Everyone knows it. The people come in aren't pretending they're here just to see singing and dancing. They know they're dwarfs. Everyone's having a good day. What's wrong with it, really? So if I was a dwarf, I'd definitely come here. <laughs> Wouldn't hang around at home. There's nothing for you at home. You don't get looked after like this. You don't get given little houses and a stage to perform on and all that. I've always thought being small would be all right. Being a dwarf, I'd rather be a dwarf than like Steve, who's almost a giant, because the world's not made for a giant. Being a dwarf, being on a plane, loads of leg room. I'd prefer to be a giant. King size Twix is Just massive. Just my preference. The world's overpopulated, especially in China, and they're like over a billion people. Perfect. You want to be small here, more room. They need more of them, actually. And then I look at it and I think, is that, is that how we're meant to have evolved? Maybe that is the future. Maybe we're the odd ones out here, when you think about it. Be a dwarf. That's not good advice. Be a dwarf. Ooh. <laughs> how? How?
Right, fair enough. That was I'm just a saying profound that. It's call one of the best times I had. Beer dwarf. And I think more people should go and visit because that is helping them out. And something they haven't sort of tapped into, but I think they could make money from, is sort of renting themselves out to people who don't know if they want a kid or not. Because even though they were grown men, there's something that makes you want to sort of go like that on their head. Damn, Carl. Too many people jump into having kids and don't know if they want them or not. Yeah, Swing yeah. But so would the dwarf have to affect the mannerisms of a child? That... They kind of do. The way they are around you, they're sort of laughing and joking. But that's what a normal so person is. So little people is. are like most goldfish, people pretty much. Are sort of laughing and joking. Right, what's your you? idea then? For a kid what that wants a pet dog do? or cat. Get them to do anything. But they haven't got any work over there. But they can work. Doing what? In offices. No, they can't, because the, the tables are too big for them and stuff, aren't they? You've got to start Still accommodating this. them, and nobody wants to. But we do that with wheelchair access. I'm just saying, you're all a bit like, oh, you can't say that. Well, yes, you can say that, because there's a load of old bollocks. What do you want to say? That we're I'm just saying say? there's nothing wrong with it. If one of them wants to act as a kid, rental, <laughs> he should be allowed to. <laughs> He's <laughs> one of them. I'm just well, saying. Like a kid <laughs> rental. <laughs> kid, kid rental with dwarf. It's actually a very good simulated now, course, uh, experience like that. It was called um, to ask any the orphan. Questions that uh, that they like to ask. Worked out well. You, and we can put them to you. And this is from um, Sarah from St Louis in Missouri. Um, Hi Carl. Just wondering, why are you friends with Ricky? You have completely opposite personalities, and he loves to annoy you. What do you get out of this relationship? Paid. That's a good Money. question. That's a good question. I don't think we do have <coughs> opposite personalities. I think we're very similar. No. <laughs> no, we're not. But I think that's what I like, the challenge of it. It's like having a dangerous pet. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, it could end up off. killing you. And that's what you're like with this trip. <laughs> You've nearly done me in a few times. I can be quite happy and I go, I feel a bit too content. Mm. Call Ricky up. <laughs> Two minutes, that's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> she hadn't called him. Sure. Makes you feel alive. <laughs> Call him. Bucket list. What oh, do you want to do, yeah. Carl? I want to drive down Route 66. All right, then. What are we doing? You at the cuddle party. Couldn't stand it. Oh, no, I, mean... I don't understand why you didn't just have a cuddle with someone. Well, with strangers. Yeah. What difference does it make? I think a hug is there for a reason. What's a hug there for? You hug someone when they're fed up. Mm. Well, I'm fed up now. No, you're not, though. Well, look. You see, you're abusing look, the hug. Look, Carl, you're not get Carl, one. look. Yeah, well, you're not going to get one when you're doing that. <laughs> well, we're no, not straight not a bloke anyway. Well, no, I don't you, hug. You, you said general. it wasn't to do with male or female. So it was to do with being a stranger's. I know you better than anyone apart from Suzanne. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm still not happy with that. How would you feel if I scooted up behind you to spoon you? Would that be okay? Well, that's worse than a cuddle. That is a cuddle. That's more, that's more than a cuddle. Right? What if I put my back to you and I face the other way? Well, that's all right, because that's just because we're all... It's crowded. Touching like that, that's just, that's just like being on a so tube. So I can do that? But you don't touch people on the tube. You do. In London you do. It's a nightmare in rush hour. Really? You'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous going around cuddling strangers. But mates always hug. Do you want to hug me? Yeah. To this day, I still yeah, need to hug. All of us. I don't want him to feel It's not something us Americans do. You have a hug. You know each other longer than you. Get shut for that. Come on. Get off. Come on. Have a hug. No, this is right. Come on. Hug. I'm not happy with this. Get him down there because the fun part. He was right. Come. Come on. So I think this should be on the floor, and we should have a little man wish. Do you want to get on top of me? This is the second time I've been violating him. I know, but you can have one episode. Love man wish. Oh, oh. See. Fucking hell! I think I'm going to rip one. <laughs> oh God! Well, if you've got one, I have too, Steve. Is that Frank again? <laughs> <laughs> oh! What what is it, your program? The program. The program. Uh, the name. Idiot abroad. The boy. Idiot abroad. Idiot. Just I'll write it down. Uh, idiot abroad. Uh, ab abroad. Abroad. Idiot abroad. That's the program. The name of the program. What you back back? No. <laughs> Idiot abroad. Yeah, don't shout Idiot about that. Idiot abroad. The yeah, yeah. name. I know. I didn't want oh. it. It was meant to be Carl Pilkington's seven Idiot. one. Idiot. Yeah, I know. Abroad. Yeah, yeah. It's not good. Idiot <laughs> name. Yeah, there's a name. Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. Div. Knobhead. 
No pet. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not idiot. Uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah. a friend came up with the title. You are not idiot. No. I don't know the name. I know, I know, I know, ah. but, but ignore the name. Idiot. <laughs> I'm bored. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me ask you a, another question from our viewers. Here's one from Gareth Sutcliffe, and he says, Carl, French novelist Marcel Proust once wrote, the voyage of discovery consists not in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. With that in mind, could you sum up your travel experiences and offer your view of travel in a similarly meaningful quote? Here we go. Give it to us, Carl. Don't piss ass about travelling, getting jet lag, eating food you don't like, shut your eyes and imagine stuff. Be a dwarf. Wow. Beautiful. Wonderful. I've had the shits. <coughs> I want to be called Brett. <laughs> My foot up my <laughs> this is good. It cools you down. That's gonna give you a headache. Not get rid of one. Mm. Carl says some interesting stuff before. Look how complicated it is just for a toilet. Yeah, you have the, the skill of Bill Gates. Just have a shit. You can't do any of that. You can't do that stuff. But it's a robot. Crisp picker upper. If you want some crisp, but you don't want to get crisps on your hands, you use a crisp picker that. upper. I like the fact that you've got a bit of a rebellious streak in you sometimes. You go off road, and I, I called you when you're in Japan, mm -hmm. and you drop this bombshell that you've finally decided the one thing you want to do before you die, and that was to invent something. And you said it's because you wanted to leave a legacy. Oh yes, right. The which pants. I thought was brilliant. <laughs> well, just because you. <laughs> You're dead longer than you're alive, aren't you? Somebody said they had like okay. a clip of the infomercial that they I'm made. Coming up for with them. stuff all the time. That's why I think this is my strength that hasn't been used yet. I don't know if it's included in I this. I can't if do this is, sort of thing, then... really. This sort of job of being on the telly. It isn't. Look at Dyson. Oh, it's only a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, he's up there with Einstein and everything. He's well rated, just for a vac. And I reckon I can come up with something better than that. It doesn't have to be a cure for cancer. I'm not going to come up with that. All I can do is come up with something that I needed at the time and that I think other people will go, do you know what, that's a bloody good invention. So something that benefits mankind? Yes. OK. He, he, he pitched me the idea over the phone and I said, I'm out. <laughs> OK, well, pitch it to me now then. Right. In Japan, they don't have these... You mean they don't have... Chairs. chairs. They don't have chairs? No, of course they have chairs. You try finding one. You <laughs> sit on the floor all the time. When you go in a restaurant, you sit down cross-legged. Get a flat ass and your legs ache. Yep. Right. So you've invented what? It's the Pilco pump pant. I'm sorry, the Pilco <laughs> pump pant. It's a pair of pants with a cushion built in the arse. <laughs> the inflatable pant. Stops your arse from getting wet. For men or women. Do you know the thing you put on your neck? when you're on long flights. Yeah. I've used that. That isn't how the finished thing would look when I, when I make it. I think they have something you know, like that people with hemorrhoids. Pilco pump. Excellent. I sold some on a shopping channel. You're slagging them off, you're saying, I'm out. Watch this. But this is the lovely man I was talking about. It is our lovely Carl to bring you some trousers. All right. How's it going? <laughs> good one, good one. Morning, everyone. Hope you're well. It's the pants we're selling today. Love that enthusiasm. Not bad, that, is it? You've come on the telly to flog me a pair of pants. <laughs> you know about pants. We've seen pants before. You haven't, have you? You haven't seen these pants. <laughs> it's that bit there. That's the seller. That's what we're here for. That's what we're talking about. It's the Pilco pump pant. The way it works is you've got a big zip. A good quality zip. Look at that. It doesn't stick. It's a quality zip. <laughs> quality zip. All right? I wonder if YouTube will allow me to get some merchandise like There's that. There's the cushion. You might have one of these already. Shove it in there. I bet no other You know YouTube you're going to be sat mess. down for a while. You're waiting for that order of the sofa. You're oh. waiting at the bus stop. You haven't got a seat because the queue's big. The buses are delayed. Where you're going to sit. But well, the beauty is you can sit 
where you want. Sit on concrete, sit on the road, not on the road. That's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's being responsible. Is that? And there's only 15 pairs available. 15 pairs in the whole world. Do you want to be one of the 15? Still 15 left. To have the Pilco pump pants. Look at him. Uh, Look at him in them. There you go. <laughs> it's <laughs> terrible. Show you how easy it is again. It looks like some sort of medical <laughs> yeah. procedure, doesn't it? That's what people would think if they saw you. Oh, they think yeah. it, you think you've had your ass removed. Get rid of that. Look at that for a pocket. <laughs> like I say, we're carrying more and more stuff around. Think of carrying stuff in that. The, your your arse. Rattling yeah. around with stuff, yeah. mobile phones, football. You know, I've seen laptop, videos laptop, of like women laptop. sitting in yeah. chairs. Who's putting a laptop in the Playing around back there. Milk, loaf, bread. Don't know what the hell they're doing. Maybe they have that. Yeah. No, I'm not buying a bag. You just turn around at the cash point. Stick your milk in there. I, know, yeah, stick I have seen videos like that. Off you go. Crazy stuff. A big, there. big pocket. You've got this. Health and safety these days. You've got that in there. You Only like a nine walk. Left. They're selling fast, ladies and gentlemen. You're a young kid. You're walking by the canal. He falls in. Is he a good swimmer? I don't know. You tell me. But if he falls in, he's got something to keep him buoyant. I'm so <laughs> down like that. <laughs> like you just see a drowned body. A drowned body with an ass just at the surface. Help him out if you fall in a canal, a lake, a river. Um, Only two left. Anything else? Anything else goes? Hang on, let's see how the orders are going. Have we had anyone calling in yet? Two people on the phone. What do they want? Do they want to talk to me or is that just... They've gone. We've sold them. Job done. Brilliant. <laughs> Cheers for that, everyone. These are how they look in real life. This is the Pilky Pump Pant. Pilky Pump Pant. Yeah. <laughs> like okay. a baboon's ass. I mean, it looks ridiculous. It does look ridiculous. So does most fashion these days. Okay, no, good. Yeah, no, yeah. If it was, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, it's all sit arbitrary. Down. Yeah. Sit down. Well, what do you say? You don't need to chair. You should get a colourway that up. has, like, a red butt. <laughs> sit on the floor. Right. Sit on the floor there, because that would be... And I suppose right. particularly useful if you've had a finger up the ice. Right, there you go. He so, too fast. Nice. <laughs> just yeah. pops. Dead comfy. Yeah. Really comfy. Um, <laughs> Carl, can you go and bring me my sort of bread and milk and stuff? That I... Have you got five pence for a carry bag? I, I, I haven't, no. Well, I haven't. Hang on. Don't worry about that. See you in a minute. What do you want? Bread and milk. Some groceries, yeah. Look, imagine walking down the street wearing that. Absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. It'll attract all kinds of mates, though. Carl, it looks... <laughs> it looks fucking ridiculous. He doesn't know. It he does. It looks like that. You, no, no one, no one will walk down the street like that. Hang on. Hold on, Carl, I've bought you, um... No, look, look, Carl. Carl. There's no restrictions. I've bought you a couple of cu a cups and saucers. <laughs> yeah? Can you take... I've bought you these. For you, you got a bag? bag. I haven't got a bag, no, just pop them in. Yeah, just. Oh, well, can you? Shove them in. Yeah, just put them in there. There you go. Yeah. So, what do you say? Let's take that, yeah. Alright, okay, alright, yeah. Go. Run for the bus, mate. Quick, for the bus, quick, quick, quick. 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 Quick, quick, that is fine. I think That's, what they want is from the stuff to break. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> no, well, you'd bubble wrap them normally, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> this is hilarious how he walks by the stair up. Like. <laughs> like, the more he walks, the more oh. he's going to convince them. <laughs> wow. I just want to say, Carl, I was impressed all the way around <laughs> with the stuff you've done. Oh, I like the fact man. you didn't do stuff you didn't want to do. I thought oh, it showed um, real drama and resolve. You weren't just a puppet. You weren't just an idiot, an adrenaline junkie. You were doing things that mattered to you. Um, is there anything, though, you didn't do that you wish you had? Bungee jumping. He wants to If you could do it again, jumping. would you go, do you know what? I will do that now. I will bungee jump, or I will. Of course. Is there anything That's the only thing, you you buddy jumping. That's the only thing you didn't do. In Japan, I wanted to do karaoke. What would you sing? Do a bit of, um, Charles and Dave. Okay, I don't know if this is copyright, so I'm gonna go, well, what am I talking about? There's no sound in here. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Oh, it's like 
like a walking family guy cutaway skit. Every time he says he wants to do something, something pops up where it, with him actually doing it. There ain't no pleasing you. I can't even be angry Carl's with you. a walking family guy character. So you only had to say the word. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you must have the, the Toco, the Toco pack pan or whatever you call it. Now was only done for you. Carl, I think you can sing. But now you. I must have been Carl cosplaying as OJ Simpson. I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not doing it. You got another thing coming, I'm telling you that for nothing. Oh, Ricky, I'm leaving. Fuck me! That's what I'm gonna do. So I was really expecting them to like end it with him actually bungee jumping, but whatever. There's always a chance that they might be able to convince him in the next uh, season, especially if. Um, who was supposed to be with him? Warwick Davis, I believe they said his name was. If I got that wrong, forgive me. I just heard someone mention the name before. Um, I know who it was, of course. It was the guy that played um, one of the Ewoks in um, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. But I guarantee if he bungee jumped, then Carl would be convinced to bungee jump. If somebody else that was with Carl had the courage to do it, I think Carl would be able to like follow in their footsteps and do it behind him. So. I'm hoping that with him there, it makes Carl more inclined to do stuff that he probably wouldn't have done by himself. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, hopefully there was no problems. If there were, are any issues, uh, leave it in the comment section. I'll try to see if I can have this video re-uploaded because there was a bit of a hiccup in the middle of the video, but I think that was the video itself. I couldn't really go back because that would have messed up the sync for sure. <laughs> but... Um, if there was an issue, like I said, just leave a comment in the comment section. I will uh, try to have that taken care of. But um, anyway, that's been Idiot Abroad Season 2. Be sure to hang around for Season 3, which would be uh, next week. And that's pretty much it. So <laughs> I'm Devon DaVinci. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And that's it hopefully you've just been a little more aligned i'll give you the deuces and i'll see you in season three deuces <laughs>